everybody has their wonderland, the place where they want to be. And it's often very close to home. And when you're there, you have your sky, the stars that you're used to see, the ones that you recognize. And you know you belong there. Native nations are firmly based on, on their territory. This is why their homelands are so important to Native people. And so what's above them and what's below are interconnected. Like many peoples around the world, the connection to the cosmos, and in particular the night sky, really defined lifestyle and activities. Here in Hawaii, we know that our ancestors' knowledge and connection to the cosmos was very deep, and that's evidenced in a lot of our, our mele or our chants. One thing that really struck me is how very much the Kumulipo, the, the Hawaiian creation chant, and the latest versions of the scientific ideas behind the creation of the universe, which is not just the Big Bang, but like, why did the Big Bang happen? What happened before the Big Bang? The way that we're thinking about this and the way the Kumulipo is, is, is described is, is, is incredibly similar. And it's not really surprising because we're, we're after similar questions being aware of the different ways that different cultures have addressed the hardest question of all, how does everything exist? And that's, that's what we're trying to do as a cosmologist. And people have tried to do that for thousands of years and there's wisdom there. And being aware of it, I think, just really helps open up your mind to address problems and challenges. Our world is very diverse and we are usually conditioned to live our lives according to the circle that we live in. This sometimes restricts our thought and as a as a community as a society as humanity it is very important to work together astronomy like other science any scientist we are working in a fundamental science we're trying to discover things that nobody knew before and having everybody in board probably enables us to discover things more quickly when we started working with NASA. The people at NASA headquarters said, but isn't everything you're saying myth? And, and I said, yes, I know you'd like to call it myth, but we also, we have the patterns and cycles that go with the myth. So it's not just a, a, a nice, cute story. It's, it's something that's firmly attached to different star patterns. We use words like traditional or like ancient and you know, just to me, it's kind of crazy because it's so relevant today. Why shouldn't the science of current astronomy, cutting edge astronomy, associate with us regular people today? The truth of the matter is that astronomy happens every place. Traditional knowledge helps to lay the groundwork for astronomical research, in that it's a footing for astronomical research to stand on, to continue to go forward, to reach out, to learn and understand more. It is also revealing to see that all these people across the world had applied some part of their intelligence to actually understand the sky in their own way. In other places in the world, People see the same thing, but interpret and understand in different ways and have a different kind of emotion to the same sky. Our universe, our cosmos is so enormous and expansive that to say that there is only one way to connect to that uh, is a complete disservice to the magnitude and the grandeur of our universe and of our cosmos. We find out that there are new layers of understanding of the night sky that we can have. And in these new layers, we find that there are connections between us. We are all under the same sky.